We scuba divers are simply amazing, but admittedly, some of us are not perfect. Sometimes, and I do stress only sometimes, we do have some annoying habits, and we're going to look at some of those today. Hi, I'm Mark from Simply Scuba, and this is 10 annoying things that scuba divers do. Annoying thing number one, spend all of our money on dive equipment. Don't worry when moths fly out of your wallet, that is a true sign that you are a real scuba diver. If you get your kids hooked on scuba diving, then they'll never be able to afford drugs, so don't worry about it. January time means that it's a time for a fresh start and a new diet. This isn't a lifestyle choice though, it's because you've spent all of your money on scuba gear and can't afford any food. So it's a good thing that we have 0% finance deals here at Simply Scuba. Annoying thing number two, washing our kit in the bath. One of your family members decides that they want to have a nice soak in the bath. Candles, aromatherapy, a bath bomb, only to walk in and find a bathtub full of scuba gear that smells of fish. You need to look after your kit as it looks after you, so why not give it the best? You can't just hose it down in the garden and let it dry in the dirt. Your loved ones will just have to get used to sharing the bath with your wetsuit. If they really want to wash, then they can hose themselves down in the backyard if they really want to. Annoying thing number three, going on holiday alone. One of the best things about scuba diving is traveling to far flung places. However, this does mean that you do have to leave behind your non-diving loved ones, such as your significant other, your children, and even your pets. Someone has to look after the dog. Sorry, Rupert. Annoying thing number four, always talking about scuba diving. Scuba diving is life, and let's face it, it is the most interesting thing about us. Without scuba diving, what would we be? Just email pushing monkeys. Non-scuba divers just don't understand how cool scuba diving is, so you have to tell them again and again until they finally understand. Annoying thing number five, always correcting inaccuracies in films. Have you ever watched a movie that contains scuba diving and said, nah, nah, that couldn't happen? 47 meters down, enough said. That's simply not how scuba diving works. Fool's Gold, for example. Someone throws a grenade into the water and the diver is thrown out of the water all the way onto the deck of a nearby boat. But his ears aren't bleeding. He doesn't have barotrauma of any sense. Actually, he's still breathing. Oh, Matthew McConaughey, you're such a faker. Annoying thing number six, pushing non-divers to dive. We just want to share because we know how cool scuba diving is. We just want to make sure that you're not missing out on anything. And also because we need a dive buddy. If that means that we pester you for hours non-stop until you finally give in, then so be it. Annoying thing number seven, waterproof everything. Your car, your phone, your dog. We are obsessed that everything is as waterproof as possible. Now that you're a scuba diver, you have to get used to getting everywhere wet. To combat this, you need a waterproof boot liner, dry bags, copious amounts of dry bags, and even waterproof seat covers for your car. Annoying thing number eight, upgrade your car. You can't be sporting that three door hatchback anymore. You need to step it up. You have a lot of gear, so you need a lot more space. If you see a pickup truck or an SUV with a green diamond on the back, then you've just been overtaken by a scuba diver. Annoying thing number nine, scuba clutter. If you're all like me, then you have a scuba room. But this can often overflow into adjacent rooms, especially when you're setting up your gear. It may leak into your bedroom, much to the bane of your partner's existence. You'll collect little knickknacks from dive sites and scuba related pictures so that everyone that comes around, even if you haven't spoken to them, knows that you are a scuba diver. Annoying thing number 10, piles of scuba diving magazines. The bathroom, living room and garage, you can't move for them. They all have that one little article that you were interested in reading, but you just never found the time to throw your old copy away. But you will, one day, one day. So what annoying things do you do as a scuba diver? And are you guilty of any of these yourself? Let us know in the comments. 
If you're watching this on our Facebook page, don't forget to like and share. And if you're watching it on YouTube, don't forget to like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe to see more videos like it. Thanks for watching and safe diving.